What is going on guys, this video tonight is going to be talking about finally, Final Mania video, building up to the show, Wrestlemania 30 prediction video, I've uh, been making tons of videos for the past uh, week or so, talking about matches uh, that are on the card, most of the matches besides uh, the Divas match and the uh, Div or the pre-show tag title match, I made videos for all of them, but I'm still, it's not like I'm going to not really give an explanation for any of my predictions in this video, I'm going to talk about every match, everything that I want to go down at Mania, or at least I see going down at Mania, so, yeah, Mania this Sunday night live on pay-per-view and the WWE Network, of course, the night before we have the Hall of Fame ceremony tomorrow night, I'm really looking forward to watching that on the network, uh, we got Ultimate Warrior going in there, Lita, uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, uh, Mr. T's going in there, who else is, uh, I'm forgetting, somebody big, damn, but, uh, I don't want to look it up. I don't want to waste any time. Uh, so we're just going to get right into it. Whatever. WrestleMania preview video. Prediction video. Whatever you want to call it. Let's get started. Pre-show match. Kickoff match. Whatever you want to call it. We have a two-hour kickoff. But this is the one match that's going to be on there. Unless they add something. I hope they do. Well, they probably won't. There's not, there's not really anybody to add unless they have an NXT match or something. But whatever. I'm rambling. You got a four, fatal four-way tag team match for the WWE Tag Team Championships. You have the uh, defending champions, the Usos, Jimmy and Jey Uso. Versus Los Matadors, uh, Diego and Fernando, the Real American, Cesaro and Jack Swagger, and Rybaxel, Curtis, Curtis Axel, and Ry and Ryback. Um, simple pick here, in my opinion. The Usos are going to retain. I'm re I'm I'm looking forward to this match. Uh, I think it's going to be real entertaining, especially at Mania. I think the crowd's going to pop for high spots and whatnot. So it'll be good. If the if the Usos don't win, then the Real Americans will probably win. But I don't see that happening. I see the Usos retaining. So uh, yeah, simple pick. The Usos will retain uh, their tag team titles. Uh, next, we'll move on to the uh, first match of the pay-per-view, I guess. Uh, you have The Shield. Well, my first match of the pay-per-view, whatever. The Shield, uh, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns versus Kane and the New Age Outlaws. Um, I see Kane and the New Age Outlaws winning. I know everybody's picking The Shield, but I honestly think The Shield's going to finally split up this Sunday at WrestleMania. As much as I don't want to see it, it's going to happen eventually, so might as well happen on a big, big stage and... Somewhere will mean something, not just on like a roll or something. So, um, I, I think uh, Billy Gunner Road Dog probably just gets a, a roll up on Roman Reigns, like a quick a quick pin or whatever. And then after we see uh, Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns butting heads, Seth Rollins, of course, trying to be Peacemaker or Holy of the Ring, something like that. Dean Ambrose will end up slapping Roman Reigns or something, and Reigns will hit his big punch on Dean Ambrose or a spear, one or the other, or both. Uh, on Ambrose to get a huge pop and to break up the shield pretty much and we'll eventually see Rollins and Ambrose uh, be together as just a tag team by themselves and Reigns off uh, in his singles career but yeah I honestly see Kane and the New Age Outlaws winning this uh, next we'll move on to the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal match for the uh, for the Andre the Giant Memorial Trophy uh, guys in this match feature Sheamus, Rey Mysterio, uh, Christian, Dolph Ziggler, Alberto Del Rio, Big E, uh, uh, who else? Mark Henry, Kofi Kingston, a lot of just guys who wouldn't even who would, would have no chance of having a Mania match unless there's for a match like this. But uh, in my opinion, it comes down to four guys who could possibly win: The Big Show, Sheamus, Dolph Ziggler, or Big E. That's gonna be one of those four de definitely. Um, to go in order of like eliminations and who I think has the least chance of winning, who has the best chance of winning. Big E has probably the least chance of winning in this. Um, just I just don't. As I, I could see him winning, but out of these four, he's the least chance, in my opinion. Dolph Ziggler um, would be great. He's been on a roll lately, uh, as everyone's been saying, and how the WWE's um, been putting out there as well. Uh, so, for him to win, this would be huge. Finally get something big and get momentum for his career again and start building back up to, a, hopefully, a future WWE World title match. Uh, but he'd probably be next. And then it comes down to Sheamus and Big Show. Big Show probably has the best chance of winning just because... Obviously, Big Show and Andre the Giant, they go hand-in-hand hand with each other. Um, just look at them both, and I don't need to explain myself. But um, I definitely see one of those four guys winning. My main pick's going to be the Big Show, but uh, three backups, I guess, Sheamus, Dolph Ziggler, and Biggie. One of those four will definitely win. Um, next, you have a, a 14 Diva single fall. This should be a great match. Uh, Divas Championship match, the Vicky Grow Divas Championship Invitational featuring uh, Divas Champion AJ Lee, Tamina, Brie Bella, Nikki Bella, Natalia, Summer Rae, Layla, Rosa Mendez, uh, uh, Cameron, Naomi, I think Alicia Fox, I think every diva on the roster, even Marie, 
All, all the main roster. Uh, is Emma in it? I don't even know. Uh, who cares? But, um, honestly, it's been put out there that AJ might win because it just, it might be a very face-heavy card with the winners and whatnot. But if, I mean, if she wins here, it's, I, I just think it's kind of like, she, then she beat everybody. She's been beating everybody since June, and now she really beat everybody in one match, so. Who else is going to beat her for the title? It's just going to be some random match on Raw where, like, Naomi random wins or something. But, I mean, not that I have a problem with AJ being champion at all. I don't care. I'm, I'm an AJ fan uh, over a lot of the divas in this match, but, um. I'm just going to say AJ retains, but if anybody does end up being a champion, or a new champion, probably be uh, Naomi or, or Natalia. One of those two will probably leave champion. Uh, maybe Tamina wins, uh, just, you know, maybe her turning on AJ, but that probably won't come for a couple months. Well, I'm sure we'll see that eventually, but I'm just going to stick with the pick of AJ Lee winning and retaining the Divas title. Uh, next match we'll talk about, I'll talk about Daniel Bryan and Triple H now, and then just to, and then we'll move into the three-way later. Uh, Daniel Bryan and Triple H, quite frankly, you know, no, you know what, actually, we'll save this for later, we'll save that right before the title match, makes more sense. We'll move into John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. Uh, build for this match has been incredible, I'm really looking forward to this. Bray Wyatt's character is just, it was awesome in July when he debuted with, of course, the Wyatt family, and it's even more awesome now, I think the promos have gotten better, uh, the, just the whole storyline with Cena has just been great, in my opinion, the, th the thing on Raw with Cena... Just randomly appearing with, you know, the, the thing on, I don't know what it's called, like, I don't know, you know what I'm talking about, and then the, the I guess, Eric Rowan mask or whatever, the sheep mask, um, and then going after him all three, and then he almost, you almost got to see Cena AA pretty wide, but he got away, and you know, it's, it's good, it's been a great build, honestly, I'm really looking forward to this. I could see John Cena winning, but I think it makes more sense for Bray Wyatt to win, honestly. I'm sure John Cena's probably going to end up winning, uh, so... I'm, I'm, my main pick, my pick for this match could be Bray Wyatt because I think Cena can easily just get a win at like Extreme Rules or Payback. Yeah, I'm sure this feud will continue for another month or so, so Cena can easily get this win back, and it'll be great for Bray Wyatt. I mean, who knows what he'll do, what he's done with Cena, because honestly, he's already feuding with the biggest guy in the company. So I don't, I don't know if he goes to a WWE World Title match or what. Uh, in a couple months, we'll see. But um, excuse me. Um, my pick's gonna be Bray Wyatt for this match. But uh, I I do see John Cena probably winning. But well, my main pick is going to be Bray Wyatt. Next we'll talk, we're going to talk about The Undertaker versus Brock Lesnar. Um, another match that I'm really looking forward to. Uh, I know the Bills has been... It, it's been decent. I know a lot of people have been complaining that Lesnar kind of got made to look like a joke throughout this feud. And he, he honestly has. But uh, for more thoughts on that on the whole feud and match and whatnot, I made a video on it last week, like I said, I made a video on all these matches, uh, like I said earlier, but, um, my, obviously, Undertaker's gonna go 22-0, there's not really any sense to Lesnar winning, if Shawn Michaels, in my opinion, can't beat the streak, then I honestly don't think anybody can, who else is, who else is better to beat the streak than Shawn Michaels, but obviously he's retired, Taker, put, Taker beat him twice, so, uh, I don't think Lesnar has any chance of winning this, if he did, it's probably like 2% Lesnar, the other 98% goes to The Undertaker. So Undertaker, without a doubt, will go 22-0. All right, now we're going to talk about Daniel Bryan versus Triple H. So the winner will be entered in the WWE World Heavyweight Championship main event, triple threat match. Oh, this feud, it, it's been great, guys. I made the video after Raw Monday because I was just so pumped up about Daniel Bryan and the whole last segment of Daniel Bryan just beating up all three of them. Triple H just flopping around because you're just getting the crap beat out of him by Daniel Bryan. And honestly, guys, Daniel Bryan's going to be Triple H. It's going to be an awesome match, and he's, it's going to be 80,000, 70,000 yesing in New Orleans. It is going to be great. And the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. But, I mean, this match is going to be phenomenal, guys. Singles match, I'm sure Stephanie McMahon will probably be out there. Maybe we'll, she'll get a knee plus to the head. That'd be very fun to see. Yeah, that'd, be, that'd get a huge pop at Mania. Like, if Daniel Bryan's on, not already going to get a big enough pop, he's going to be great, but Daniel Bryan, without a doubt, is going to be Triple H. Um, and then, of course, this moves on. Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton, Batista for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Orton, no chance of winning. Batista, 20% chance of winning. 80% chance of winning Daniel Bryan. How, how can you not capitalize on this? I know Batista is supposed to come back, win the Rumble, win the title, but clearly, it's Daniel Bryan's time. I love Batista. I'm a big. Fan. I'm a fan of Batista. Not a big fan, but I'm a fan of Batista. 
Um, but there's no way he can win the title here. Possibly later this year. I'd love to see a feud with just him and Daniel Bryan. Because honestly, I think just one-on-one would -on -one be a great match. I don't really think they got a lot of time in their match a couple weeks ago. Even though I don't remember that much. But whatever. I mean, I'd really like to see a feud between them. But you have to give it to Daniel Bryan here. If he does not lose or does not win the WWE World title... Ugh, I don't even know. Randy Orton, if he retains, that's going to be really bad. Orton should not retain whatsoever. He has to lose the title, whether it's to Batista or Daniel Bryan. If Batista's going to get massive heat if he loses, or if he wins, I mean. But Daniel Bryan has to win the title here. It's, it's his time, it's his destiny, uh, and he, it has to. He's, he has to move all day long, baby. I would put my arms up, but, you know, got that hair on. I don't want to disgust any people. Uh, so Daniel Bryan will be WWE World Heavyweight Champion, leaving Mercedes-Benz Superdome WWE World Heavyweight Champion, live from New Orleans this Sunday night on the WWE Network and pay-per-view, also featuring Stone Cold Steve Austin, which I forgot to mention earlier, but he'll, he will be in attendance, so I don't know who's going to get stunnered, maybe Bray Wyatt, maybe Randy Orton, maybe Triple H, who knows, but somebody's getting stunnered at WrestleMania. So there's my WrestleMania predictions, guys, just to run down. Um, Usos to retain the tag team titles. The New Age Outlaws and Kane to defeat The Shield. Roman Reigns to turn on Dean Ambrose. Uh, the Big Show to win. The Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Uh, backups being Seamus Big E and Dolph Ziggler. Uh, AJ Lee to retain in the Divas title match. Bray Wyatt to defeat John Cena. Undertaker to defeat Brock Lesnar. Danny Bryan to beat Triple H. And Danny Bryan to beat Batista and Randy Orton to become the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. There's my prediction, guys. WrestleMania 30. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I will see you guys. I was going to make an ROH uh, Supercard of Honor preview, but honestly, I think it's too late. You know, the show's on in a couple hours. Not live, because it's not on iPay Review. I think it's on video on demand next week, but uh, can and I'll make a review whenever. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys next time.